Hello guys, welcome to my video series tutorial to talk about Microsoft Schematic Kernel. In this video, I am going to talk about how to implement process framework using Schematic Kernel application. First, we will understand what is process framework. Second, we understand what are the steps needed to build the process framework application. And this video may be a little bit longer because I am going to write the code step by step process. Let's move on to the documentation part. First, we will understand the business process and what are the steps needed. To move on to my documentation, first, we will understand the business process. What is business process? A business process is a simply a series of steps or tasks that company follow to get something done. For running a business, each steps add value and helps the company reach the goal like delivering a service or making a product. For example, the process of handling customer complaints or managing a project for both business process, we have to follow some steps. So let elaborate a little bit further in this business process. These are the main three building block of the core concept of business process. First one is a process. A process is a set of steps that help reach a specific goal. For example, when a business helps a new customer, it follows steps like creating an account, checking the customer credit or sending a welcome message on steps together to make a process. The second one is a step. A step is a small task within the process. Each step takes something and input, does something with it and give the output. For example, step could give involved running computer code using A to make decision or even having a person complete part of the task. The third part is a pattern. A pattern is an order or way the steps are done. Pattern make it easier to organize tasks that are done frequently. For example, some pattern tells the system to handle many tasks at once. Other breaks the task into smaller part and combine them later. So this is a business process. So first we have to understand how the business working, what are the process is needed and what are the core concept needed to achieve the goal. So to achieve the goal, first we have to define the process and the process we have to make it small, small steps. Based on the steps, we have to take some decision that is a pattern. So if you define these three steps, we can achieve the business process. The same concept we are going to implement in Microsoft Schematic Kernel to achieve the goal. So let's little bit move on to process framework for Microsoft Schematic Kernel. Based on this business process, Microsoft has created a tool or framework called process framework or process library for Schematic Kernel, which helps developer easily add A to the business process. This tool acts as a guide or structure for developers to integrate A into variation workflows like customer support or project management. Workflows become more effect and adaptable. Just simple. Based on the business process, Microsoft Schematic Kernel team has created the framework or library to implement the A concept into the business workflow. That's it. So let's little bit understand how this workflow define in Microsoft Schematic Kernel. When the start the process, we have to start with the step one. The step one, anything based on your goal. So here I mentioned just for introduction part. So step one, I just tell something like that. Welcome to process library, something like that. Once the step one is done, the step one trigger the event to step two, what you have to do. So the, based on the step two, what we define it, that will execute it. Then once step two finish the task, if the step three is available, again step two, trigger the event to step three. Step three do the some process and based on the step three, maybe we have to again send back to event to step two or we can stop it. So how the workflow you define based on that it will work. In my workflow, idea here is the step two, I send an event, step three, some process going to happen once the step 3 process is done again is sent back to the event to the step 2 once step 2 receive the final event from step 3 it stop the process this is a workflow so the same step i'm going to start the process 
start the first step in the first step introduction part i am just print the message welcome to my process library something like that and once the step one is done trigger the step two that is a quiz q and a in the quiz q and a i define my q and a question and answer so this question and answer i send to the step three llm validate part so the llm validate the answer whether the answer is correct or wrong once the validation is done again it's sent back to the even to the quiz step the quiz step it will check one by one all the answers once the process is finished exit let's move on to visual studio we write the simple example how to implement this process library in microsoft semantic kernel application in visual studio i have created a new project called the process lib sample the first step you have to install the nuget package to implement this workflow so semantic kernel process abstraction process dot core process dot local runtime this three library has to install and make sure you have to use the latest microsoft semantic kernel nuget package 1.21.1 and in this sample i used my github connector so i, I include my nuget package sk connector github models in the program cs file first we are going to define the process library I just go a little bit top this step so we have to first create the process library in the process library we have to add all the steps so I'm just going to follow up this process in the process builder first up i'm going to define the introduction step and then quiz finally llm validate so we first we create the process builder in visual studio I have to use the class process builder as I define the variable process builder new of while creating the process builder we have to define the name unique name we have to define it each process so the process builder name is process lib bot Once a process builder ha object has been created, we have to add the step, add the first step into the process. So to add this one, we have to use uh, process builder dot add step from type. Here we have to pass the kernel process step class. We have to pass it. So the first step we are going to add the introduction step. So I'm going to create the one new folder, add new folder called step one next step i'm going to create the class called intro step this class should derive from the kernel process step and here i'm going to define one kernel function here i'm going to define one kernel function just print the welcome message so public void welcome message so console dot right line welcome to process lib bot before that i just change the color here so that we can see the difference in the screen so console color let it be in the blue this class we have to add into the process here so here intro intro step this uh, assigned to one variable called a step one this step one assign it next we have to add the step two process so this step we have to add it before adding this one first we execute this only one single step how it behaves so to execute that one just add it here add it process builder dot on external event event id we have to specify so as i mentioned here so each step it's running through the event only even process start also trigger the event to execute this first step so the for that we have to define the event the event is a string i'm going to do one more step here i'm adding the folder called step events 
first step event and the class name called step events events and this class should be static class here and the public static string called a start process so the first step it's called a start process and that I'm going to define in the here so the step event events dot start process and here we have to mention send to event so where I send the event whether step one or step two where so that we have to specify so process function target builder we have to send this event to the step one which we created here this is a step one trigger the event once the step one receive the event so what step one has to do so here we have to specify step one on function result we have to tell the step one you have to call the function which function you have to call the welcome message you have to call whenever you receive the event from the external source it may be process builder or it may be some other step whatever it is we have to specify which function need to call so here we have to specify the name of the function so the name of the function intro step dot which function we need to call welcome message that's it so far we not define the step two so let it be there and we start the process so we just build this process and start the application for that we have to use a kernel kernel processor kernel processor equal to process builder dot build that's it so here we have to start it so kernel process dot start async we have to pass a kernel object the kernel object the next we have to define the event which event should trigger to start the process so new kernel event id we have to specify the event id which we specified here is a start process that event id i pass it here that's it so seems to be all fine first up we created the process builder in the process builder added the step one to introduction the step the process builder trigger the external event to the step one once the step one receive the event it has to call the function welcome message the welcome message we define it here this part to print the welcome to the process lab bot once done process get over so we run this application quickly and we see the result here we can see the output welcome to the process lib bot which we define in the step one so seems to be our application is running the next step we have to define the step two the step two our plan is to define the quiz QA. &A. 